Ça, c'est que maintenant. Sit. It's good. The compliancy of the dog has a lot to do with many factors. It could be the breed of the dog, but more the personality of the individual dog. Labradors, Cocker Spaniels, some of these hunting dog breeds are not compliant until they've had enough conditioning. So you have to stay on target with them. You'll get refusal after refusal to try and frustrate the shit out of you using any type of method of avoidance. And Gus would be a perfect example of a dog that tries avoidance. One thing that he would do when we, when we were working, we're doing the kennel command right now. He would try and see if he could go run over there like towards the inside when I said kennel. Now there is a kennel inside, but he knows that there's a kennel right here. So then I'd stop him and then for a while what he'd do is he'd do like this kind of like half moon to the kennel. So if I wasn't watching him when he got here and say no kennel, repeat the command, he might go back to his old ways. Gus, kennel? No! Perfect example. Gus, here, heel. Now with conditioning, He's stopping doing this and he's seeing that it's a game that he wants to play. Now he's fairly compliant, but he's a male intact lab. So we still keep conditioning and still, it, it would, it's like if you don't weed your garden, if you don't work with your dog or the garden, it just goes to seed. The same is true. You have to keep training the dog. Training is the lifetime of the dog. Gus, kennel? <laughs> Sit! Did you see how he took the half moon out there? Gus, here. You see how he's going this way? We don't want that. We don't want that. Heel, sit. No, sit. Much better. Remember, the dog goes in the direction of their head. So if he's facing that way, he's going to start pulling his shit again. And we don't want that. You must be consistent. Most of the time when I'm training, I'm going to keep it under 15 minutes. You don't want to go longer than 15 minutes. With Gus, we do even shorter. We build the dog up. So it, it's a Labrador. It's like if, if you try and overwork the lab when they first, just, you know, you first start training, man, you'll get refusal after refusal. I'm not going to do it. Same thing's true of a Cocker Spaniel or any individual dog. This could be any breed of dog, it's all in varying degrees. So we'll get him to do it real good a couple times and then we're gonna stop. Sit. Good boy, heel. Gus, kennel. No, sit. No, sit. Good boy. Gus, here, heel. See his tail is up. Sit. We're increasing drive in the dog and doing this activity. Gus, kennel. Sit. Good. Gus, here, heel. Sit. Gus, kennel. I want him to work faster like that. Gus, no, sit. Gus, no, sit. Good. Gus, here, heel. Come here, buddy. Get up there. Get on up there, son. Sit. It's pretty good, Gus. Gus, kennel. No. No, back up. No, Gus, kennel. Get in there, dude. Go. Sit. No, sit. So he, no! So he's starting to make mistakes, so we're going to get him to do it one more time real good, and then we're going to stop. Gus, here, heel. Sit! It's a good boy. Gus, kennel! No, kennel. Gus, sit. Good boy! Here, heel. Nice job, Gussie. Come on, buddy. There you go. This is Toto. Toto's a totally different kind of dog. Higher drive. 
Gus is, has a more methodical approach. Gus is sort of, in a, in a weird way, after you get to a point, Gus will be sort of easier to contain. The drive will be. We're trying to control her drive. No, in a different way, sit. I need her to pay attention. When she gets real excited, she might, same thing with Gus, he might start grabbing grass or leaves, whatever, but they're not paying attention. We're doing a particular task. So if she messes up, like with Gus, she needs to get compliant or she's not playing the game right. No, sit. I didn't tell her to move. Sit only means sit. It's implied. You don't say stay. It's built into the command. No, sit. So she gets her ass up. I'm going to use the e collar. She's on 15. That's right where a human can feel it. Sit. Tuttle. Kennel. Sit. No, sit. Here, heel. See how she grabs for the leaves? That's a no no. Sit. Tuttle, kennel. Sit. No, sit. No. If she goes for a leaf, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the the, the collar. I, I use the collar right when her mouth hits the leaf. That's what I'm shooting for. It's all about timing. If timing's off, it's not gonna work. Here, heel. No, 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 drop it. So so I I kept tapping while it's in her mouth. She needs to drop it. She learns she needs to learn not to do that. Sit. Kennel. No, kennel. Sit. Good. Here, heel. No. No. Sit. Total kennel. Sit. Heel. No. Sit. No. Don't chew grass, sis. Okay, kennel. Sit. No, sit. So she does it right when she starts coming, when there's that excitement. So I'm going to watch her coming out of the crate. Here, heel. Good. No, you spun the wrong way. The chickens are distracting her. Kennel. Sit. Heel. So see, she's given up on the grass. That's good. Sit. Total kennel. Sit. Toto down. Toto sit. No, sit. Heel. Sit. Toto's more compliant with down at distance right now. We're adding that in with Gus, but we do it inside right now. He will be doing this tomorrow. And he can do it, but we're really trying to increase drive with Gus. We need her to be more methodical, sort of more like Gus. No, sit. No, sit. Faster moving dog. Toto is. Toto kennel. Sit. No, sit. Toto down. Sit. Heel. No. Sit. Toto down. Toto kennel. Sit. Down. Heel. No, heel. Sit. Heel. Good girl. Marty Kennel. Sit. Good. Here, get up there. Get up there. Sit. Marty's a to no, sit. Marty's a totally different kind of dog. Marty's had more training. Marty could work on a movie set. He can learn. Um, he can learn to do a, 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 like a task because he knows how to do many things. So you can string stuff together like him going up on a chair to a table and going in the down position. If he's not compliant, he understands that no means that he needs to become compliant. Where sometimes with Gus and Toto, well, Gus has had an issue with this. He's not picking up on the game yet. 
Toto's picked up on the game more, meaning if you say no, she becomes compliant. Marty, very much so. Marty, sit. Marty, kennel. Sit. Marty, here, heel. Sit. Marty, kennel. Sit. Marty, here. Sit. Back. Kennel. No, back. Kennel. Marty, here. No, here. Not that kennel. Come here. Here. Marty, sit. No. Marty. Come here. Come right here. Here. Heel. No. Heel. No. Heel. Sit. Back. Kennel. There you go. Marty, here. Get up here. Sit. Marty, kennel. Sit. Marty, here. Sit. Back. Kennel. No. Back. Kennel. There you go. Sit. Go. Sit. Marty, here. Heel. All the way up there, boy. Sit. Marty, kennel. Good. Sit. Marty, here. Heel. Get up there, dude. Sit. Marty, kennel. Sit. Marty, here. Marty, sit! Back! Sit! It's an example of Marty learning something new very quickly on the fly. So if I was going to, uh, no, sit. He needs to learn it on the set or he learns it the day before. He would be a dog that you could teach him something very quickly. Now he knows how to do back, but he's never done it here. He's never done it when it's raining and, and leaves are, you know. So he, he learned that. You watch that in real time. That would be an example of how quick Marty can learn to do a task. Three minutes. Something like that. He has a lot of training under his belt. The only problem with Marty is he's a lot like Tally from South, South Park. Aren't you, Marty? Hey, I don't want to get stoned. See? He's, he's naughty. Marty, sit. Get up there. Give me one more. Sit. Marty, back, kennel. I made a mistake. Marty, here, sit. Marty, kennel. Sit. Marty, place. No, place. No, place. That. Kennel. Heel. Heel. It's about it's raining, so I don't want the gimbal to get wet. So I'm working Tonka real quick. I planned on doing everybody out here, but the gimbal, the gimbal, you can't get wet. Tonka, kennel. Heel. Kennel. Down. No, down. Heel. Doing good. Kennel. Down. No, down. Heel. Kennel. Down. Heel. Kennel. Down. No, down. Heel. Kennel. You good boy, dude. Heel. Whole ass, dude. Kennel. Heel. Kennel. Good boy, heel. Come on, buddy, heel. Good, kennel. Heel. Kennel. Heel. Kennel. Heel. Kennel. Heel. You're good boy, man. Good boy, Tonky. Get up there, dude. Now. Sit. Kennel. 
All right, Tonka, okay, go on. You don't have to work the dog long, but you have to work the dog. One minute is better than no minutes. If you get the dog trained and then you don't work with the dog for the rest of its life, why did you get the dog? You have to work with the dog its entire life. Maybe, you know, like the first year and a half is more intense than like I had to do with Tonka. Tonka's like nine years old. But you have to work with your dog. You have to, you, training continues. It isn't, oh, I got my dog trained and then you don't have to work with the dog anymore. It's muscle memory and you have to keep replacing that memory. Work with your goddamn dogs, would you? You have to, or don't get a dog. You have to work with a cat. Get a goldfish or a cactus. Seriously, we have four million dogs dying every year because people are unrealistic about what they own. All they want is something cute. It's a sub, Marty is a subspecies of, a wolf, of the wolf. So is Tonka, so is Gus, so is Toto. Toto's a subspecies of the dingo, too. So, think about it. Train your damn dog. <laughs>